the very special Minecraft live event took place last weekend, where you guys can cast your votes to have one out of three mobs added to the game. The three mobs are the Copper Golem, the Glare, and the fan favorite, the Alley. So in today's episode, I decided to build all three of these mobs in my hardcore world, and they turned out amazing. If you guys haven't noticed, we're slowly approaching 2 million subscribers. So join the Cookie Army by hitting the subscribe button. Welcome to episode 25, and I hope you guys enjoy. First off the list, I think I'll be starting off with the copper golem. I don't have a huge supply of copper, though. I think I'm pretty poor with it. And I was right. 62 copper ingots and 54 raw copper. That is kind of embarrassing. So in order to build this copper golem, I'm going to need a lot of more copper ingots to make some copper blocks. And maybe some brown stained concrete or brown wool will add to the color of it. Because there are a lot of shadows on the copper golem. But if you guys watch my episodes regularly, I need to fill up on some food to start every single episode. And I don't have any food. That is kind of depressing. How do I not have any food? when I have all these potatoes here just rotten and, and moldy. I haven't harvested these potatoes since like 1984. So let's quickly harvest all this. Now you see it and now you don't. Well, I guess you kind of do because it's still potatoes, but I harvested it. And I really don't know why I did because I just checked my chest and like, bruh, bruh. Well, we got potatoes for days, not even days, for centuries. Let's head over to my super smelter 6969 and let's start it up. While I wait, I'll go for a quick snack break. Grab some water, hydrate yourself and I'll be right back. Ah, yes, I love my food. I only weigh about 9,000 pounds. I'm literally stuck to the ground. Anyways, let's go copper hunting. The best place to go is in my mine shaft. And I basically explored all of these mine shafts and caves, but I just leave out all of this copper ore. So let's take some time to grab all this. And there's a lot of mobs over here. Oh, I keep forgetting to build a shield. Oh no. Go away, you smelly. <laughs> oh, I missed. Go away. I'm sorry I killed your father. But I said it before, raw copper ore looks like somebody threw up on stone and just like stained there. Ew! It's so gross. But anyways, let's gather all of this copper to make the copper golem. All right, I'm finally back out of the mines and I got myself five stacks and 46 pieces of copper. And the good news is I haven't even fortuned it yet. Let's grab my fortune three and let's line it all up right beside my UFO. Drop some guesses in the comments how much raw copper I'll get from all of these ores. And with all of the copper ores placed down, let's start mining. And with all the copper ore, I only got three stacks and 34 raw copper. That was not expected at all. Nah, just kidding. I got a whole chest of it. Let's grab all this copper. Head over to the Super Smelter 6969. An amazing name for this guy. And let's smelt all this up. This is going to take a while. So I'll see you guys when we have all of it turned into copper block. I finally got all the blocks of copper I need. Hopefully that's enough. And now let's find a spot to build this boy. And you guys must know by now that I am super picky on where I build my things. And this entire hardcore world is getting insane big it's so big that's what she said but i'm gonna do some running around to find the perfect spot for these three mobs but i think i'm gonna build it just right over here underneath my airship and beside my animal barn i'm gonna have to expand this path Now that I have the pathway leading into the area that will have the three mobs, let's carve out a little section to separate all of them. So let's build out a big square so they can have like a big podium to stand on. Something very special. And there we go. We got the big podium for the alley. And on the sides will be the smaller ones for the copper golem and the glare because they aren't as important. All right, there we go. We got the three podiums built out. And let's do a little bit of decorating before we start on the copper golem. Let's put a stone brick up here and do a simple design with stairs and some slabs. And and right in the middle, let's bring it down slightly like that. Put a slap here. And glowstone right in the middle with a trap door for some lighting. And on each corner, let's put some circle stone with a stone brick wall and a fence. And you can't go wrong with some lanterns. Let's add some slabs on the very top to make it look like a castle. And I think that's a pretty good design. Let's repeat that on all four sides. All right. And there we go. All three stadiums or podiums are completely built. And I really like how they look. They look kind of medieval-ish and makes it look kind of like royal. I have no... I'm bad at explaining things. But anyway, Anyways, it's time to start building the first statue, which will be a copper golem. Let's grab all of my copper blocks and let's actually turn some of this into some cut copper. I'm not sure how much, but I'll get like maybe 32. I'm not sure how much I need and some slabs. And the copper golem is pretty small compared to the iron golem. So it doesn't need to be too tall. Let's make the two little legs here and the torso will be right here somewhere. Ah, now that looks pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's make the torso maybe like three blocks long or tall like 
like this maybe a stair like that and then some blocks it does have a little indent right here so i'll put some stairs maybe some slabs up here that looks okay and now for the little cute head let's put some slabs i think right here will be good and then stick it out like that and the eyes will be right here so let's actually break this the nose will be here and let's protrude it oh i'm using the wrong blocks let's protrude it out just like that and i think that is good let's build up the eye sockets like that let's put some stairs for the eyes and then build out the face just a little more i have no idea how this will turn out i'm actually kind of nervous but let's jump down and see come on please look good and Oh, yeah, there's, some, <laughs> there's something wrong with this guy. What if we break this and turn it into slabs for the head? And let's jump down. That's not bad, right? Like, you can kind of see what I'm going for. Let's make the head a little bit taller with some cut copper at the very top. And let's actually make the head one block thin thicker all right let's see how it looks that's not bad that's not bad i actually kind of vibe with that maybe if we turn the feet into little stairs like that so it looks like his actual feet Ooh, i actually really like that like his toes and now we just gotta do his arms and his arms should be pretty simple it'll be just like iron golem so it'll come down from this side right here like that maybe we'll put like stairs here for its hands and the same thing on this side and stairs facing this way uh now nah, let's let's keep it to normal blocks just like that I think that looks better. Yeah, definitely 100% better. And let's change these actually to some stairs at the very armpit just to have a little curvature and a slab for the shoulder, just like that. And let's take a look from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Now that looks like a copper golem to me. I really like that. His arms are a little too buffed out, to be honest. I think I'm going to make it even lower, almost to the ground. Let's bring it just slightly hovering above the ground, like that. And let's make the armpit a little bit bigger to decrease the gap. And let's take a look. Ooh, I actually really like that. It looks like he has wings, like a little jetpack or an elytra on. <laughs> Maybe we should make the nose a little bit longer. <laughs> Let's break that. It looks like he's... Okay, now his nose looks like a villager nose. Let's break it. But there we go. We just have to make the little antenna above his head and make his eyes like dark. I think black stone will be the perfect block. Grab some of that. And let's put it in his eye. And there we go. It actually looks really good. And unfortunately, I can't make copper walls for the little antenna part. So I think the next best block would be granite or... Or some like red sandstone and i think red sandstone will be a great fit so let's yeet into my boat and head over to the mesa biome all right we made it and there's a lot of red sand here i don't think i've ever built with red sand before so i'm not sure where red sandstone is but i'm sure i could just take this and turn it into sandstone like regular sand right just like that oh there we go so we don't need a lot we just we just need one sandstone wall and there we go that should be good and now let's head back to base let's turn it into a red sandstone wall oh it gives me six and and let's build up there plop it down right in the middle and then put a regular block of copper at the top y jump down and this is the final product what do you guys think i personally think it turned out pretty good let me know in the comments but now let's start building the other mobs the glare and the alley let's first start off with the glare for the glare it looks like a big block of leaves which is my favorite i'm actually really happy with that so i have a lot of oak leaves here and i think azelia leaves will be a great fit for this i don't have any but i do have moss blocks and if you take that with some bone meal it should just grow and expand right let's try here okay the moss block is growing oh here's the tree and if you bone meal this little tree it should turn into an azelia tree oh yes and you get the special azelia leaves and with the azelia flower leaves which is really pretty this might be my next favorite leaf next to the oak leaves but let's make some shears and let's shear all of these leaves yes my favorite part of life just shearing leaves and these leaves are so much prettier i actually really like them they might compete for the number one spot to be honest and i'm guessing this should be enough let's grab some regular oak leaves and i think some green wool would be a great fit as well i do have a lot of wool but where are my cactuses i think i'm all out all right we're right back at the village to steal some cactuses for some green dye take that look at this poor guy i put you out your misery oh i thought i'd land on him i didn't know cactuses grow on mesa bombs as well that's kind of sick i really need to make an automatic cactus farm in a future episode but that should be enough cactuses now let's head back and now let's make some green wool and last but not least, I think some green concrete will be a great addition to build the glare. So let's grab some sand and I also have some gravel ready. And let's make some green concrete powder. There, Oh, that is a lot. So now let's make a giant tower of red concrete powder all the way to the sky. So we can turn this into solid concrete blocks. And yay! Oh, can I punch the... Go! 
Oh, I missed a goat, but I'll punch him now. <laughs> Loser. Yeah, you better run for me. And let's mine this concrete for the blocks. And this is actually my first time making concrete in Minecraft. And I learned this trick from Mumbo Jumbo. Even though everybody does this, I watched your Mumbo Jumbo, I learned it. So uh, I guess you learn something new every day. Anyways, let's grab all this. Take a quick swim, you know, backstroke into the water. Turn into a soggy cookie. And with all four of these materials, that should be enough to make the glare. Now, let's decide which one is the lightest block to the darkest block. I'm kind of iffy between these two. Like, is the oak leaves darker than the wool? I have no clue. I might be colorblind, but they all look kind of the same to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm literally spreading my eyes with my two hands right now. Trying to gather as much light as possible. And I can't see the difference. And my eyes getting dry. It's kind of burning. But I think I'm going to stick the leaves together and the wool and concrete together. Just like this. And now let's design this thing. The first thing I'm going to do is build a 5x5 five five square like this to make the outline of the glare and build like 9 blocks high. And I think that's a pretty good size for the glare. And now at the very top, just build a square with all of your different blocks. And just like randomize it so it's all random and there's no order at all. Just to make it look like a glare. And I'm building this all by like memory. So if you're copying this, I'm sorry if it looks terrible. But there we go. And now right in the middle, I'm going to put some gray concrete in a three by three square like this so it can be the head. And now you can just build down with all your different blocks. I'm just going to use my green wool and concrete first, kind of like this. It feels like I'm building like a big blob of slime. It's so weird. Like a big chunk of throw up. Hopefully it turns out looking good. And underneath the glare's head, just continue the same design like this. And it should be getting a little bit skinnier once it gets to the bottom because there's like a little point right here, if that makes any sense. Basically, just place blocks randomly until it looks good. And once you have an outline and layout of the glare that you like, start placing down your leaves. And if you guys watch my... Re what, what am I saying, bro? And if you guys watch my videos regularly, you you guys know that i love my leaves so let's replace all these random blocks into leaves there's no order at all i'm just placing it anywhere and i'm gonna start with the azalea leaves since it's a lot brighter let's jump down here and continue the leaves and at the bottom as well just make it just put it anywhere i think in this case the messier it is the better it looks i wish i can say that about my hair because uh right now it's actually a mess and it doesn't look good that's the problem it looks like a big pile of spaghetti i look like a mop to clean your kitchen but i think that's a pretty good start maybe i should remove these leaves on the sides yeah i think i'm gonna and once we get lower to the bottom i'm gonna change it up a little bit and add some more oak leaves since it's darker which matches the glare's description even more because from the top is really light and then at the very bottom it gets pretty dark and once you're satisfied with what you have all you gotta do is add the eyeballs and looking at the picture of the glare it looks like they have the white little eyeballs like usual but the pupil looks like a brownish red to me so let's grab some quartz for the eyes and maybe the sandstone might be the best oh never mind and for the pupil I might just go with some spruce buttons. And I gotta remember, the inside of the glare kind of has some little brown spots in it. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe he forgot to wipe. But I'm gonna add it in to match the description of the glare as much as possible. And it might not look that great. But let's take a look. And yeah, that kind of matches it a little bit. Let's add the eyeballs right here. And bam. And then the actual eyeballs. Bam. And looking at the picture, there is something right here. I'm not sure if to add it. And this part looks a little bit weird. So I might change this to a different black and maybe just like stairs placed like randomly and a slab or something will change it up a little bit add a little bit of shadow and i think we're done let's go check it out Ooh, that is actually so sick i like that way more than the copper golem the copper golem is that that is that is some detail right there i love that and the glare might be my favorite mod that doesn't exist because it's basically a floating leaf block and you guys know i love my leaves and i do have azelia here i think that's how you say it and let's just slide Slap it up here if I can. I can't. Oh, I need grass. That's just a steal a piece right here. <laughs> oh, that looks so messed up. That bothers me so much. I know that bothers some of you guys. And I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Let's head up here. Break this. Put a grass block here. And just a azelia tree here. Hopefully, it doesn't grow. I think it would be a nice addition to add to the glare. Even though it's not in the actual mob. But like, I think it will look a little better. It looks like he has a big green warts growing out of the top of his head. But I'm going to leave it anyways. And there we go. We are two out of three. The glare is complete. And if you guys are new to this hardcore series, every single episode, I pick one to two random people in my comments or on Twitter, Instagram, or any of my social medias to be on this giant wall of leaves. And your name can be on this wall. All you have to do is subscribe and comment down below on any of my social medias and just pray that you get picked. But today's lucky winner is Jake or Gamer and Alec on Twitter. Thank you guys so much and make sure you guys subscribe to be on the next episode. All right, right back to the video. And now for the final mob, the alley, the one that actually won 
on the Minecraft Live vote and that is being added to the game. And this one's going to be pretty hard to build, I think, because it requires a lot of blue blocks. And you guys know blue blocks is kind of hard to get. And I pretty much have nothing blue in my chest. Oh, I do have lapis, some blue dye, and some light blue dye. That will actually help a lot. And that saves me a lot of time because I don't need to go searching for a flower forest biome, which is really nice. So I could just use this and let's grab some glass and some wool. And let's also make some concrete, light blue concrete and some blue concrete. Okay, never mind. Blue concrete does not match the uh, right color of the alley. Let's uh, yeet that into the fire and let's make some light blue stained glass and might as well make some blue with this match. Maybe it'll be good for some shading and some light blue wool and some blue. Uh, no, blue is a little too dark. Let's just stick with some light blue and a run of light blue dye. Wow. Yeah, I have two more left. Here. Oh, that's blue. What? Um, if my if I do my math correct, I'm pretty sure I can add blue dye and white together and make light blue. Wow. I'm an actual walking genius. Call me Albert Einstein. And there we go. I'm so big brain. Like, I think I discovered that. And now let's build a big tower of this powder and turn it into concrete. <laughs> And one last color I need is cyan. Using my brain, I think I need green dye and lapis. And, um, never mind. What if I turn this into blue dye? And bam, bam. Oh, there's cyan. Totally did not have to search that up. <laughs> and let's make some wool. Oh, I just used it all by accident. Whoops. Oh, I don't have any more cactus. Oh, I gotta go back to the desert and grab some. Bruh. Bruh why is cactus so far away? Like, come on. Like, it couldn't have been any freaking closer, dude. I don't know. Cactus. I don't know. Cactus. Yeah. Who, who even likes cactus? So green and ugly. <laughs> but I don't think I'm ever running out of cactuses now. Never, ever, ever. And now let's smell these up. While I wait, let's go for a quick snack break. Da -da 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 -da. And sign wool. Oh my god, didn't he sign wool? I already have it. Sign glass. That's what I'm doing. There, there we go. My brain's the size of a raisin. I'm to be honest, I might be a little too big. Maybe a rice grain. And finally, I have all the colors I need. So now let's sort them out to lightest to darkest. So I'm guessing the powder, blue, wool, maybe then the concrete. Oh, that's really dark. And then cyan. That looks pretty accurate to me. And now for the glass, it should go light blue, cyan, and then then blue, but blue might be a little dark. So that is all the resources you need to build this guy. And looking at the picture, the blueness of the ally changes a lot. What ally? Alley? 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 How, how do we pronounce that? English is alley? 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 I think it's alley. Alley. Uh, anyways, if you look at the picture of the alley, it changes colors a lot. So I'm gonna try my best to match it exactly. So the first thing you want to do is take your light blue concrete and build up like this. Let's make it float actually. So let's build it a little higher than usual so you can see it floating and break two of these blocks. So you are a total of three blocks high. Now stand on top of it and turn it into a three by three platform just like this and build it up one more. And now jump back down and let's make the little feet, the little cute feet that goes right here and here. And now what you want to do is build back up. Yeet. And now take your light blue wool and protrude it out one like this. And then your light blue concrete powder on top. So it's a nice blue gradient change. And I will just go all around with the same blocks just like this. And I kind of forgot, let's break this part right here because I think the ally has like a curved back. All right, there we go. I think that's good. And now for the giant head, let's protrude it out one and use your light blue concrete and make a five by five square like this. And I'll build it up one more level. And the sun is setting, so let's go to bed. Yeep. <laughs> and now put three more blocks on top like this and then surround it with some light blue wool. And at the very top, use some concrete powder. Bam. Please don't run out no, and I ran out, bruh. Okay, I got some more, and there we go. And it's not looking too bad. We got the torso built out of the alley, and now let's build the little arms and then the wings, and lastly, we'll add the eyes. For the arms, I'm gonna use some light blue wool and put it right beside the torso like this, and then use some temporary blocks, put two there, and one more wool over here and break these two. And do the same thing on this side. And there are the little hands. And now for the wings. This part might be a little difficult. So let's head over to the back side, and I'm just gonna add a little concrete block right here here just to smooth out the torso a little bit and let's start working on the wings put a temporary block right here and then build two blocks up like this on either side with some light blue concrete and i think i'm gonna put one more block over here like this and down here let's put one here break that and let's go out like three blocks or something and now i'm gonna take some blue stained glass and actually connect it from the bottom like this and maybe it'll look a little better it's not bad and let's jump down here Ugh. 
And there we have it. The wings actually looks really nice. Honestly, I kind of messed up the position of it. And the wings are slightly too low. It's like coming out of its butt. It should be coming out like the top of its head, like right there. Oh man, I kind of messed up. Okay, I'm gonna spend some time off camera and move the wings just like one or two blocks up. Because yeah, it looks like the butt is growing some hairs or something. And there we go. That looks way, way better. I just moved it two blocks up. And now the last thing I need to do is add the eyes. And for the eyes, banners look the best, I think. Some white wool will just look a little awkward. So now I need to figure out how to make a white banner. I don't think I've ever built a banner ever in Minecraft. So I'm guessing it's white wool, obviously, and maybe a stick. And I'm just going to take a guess like this, a, uh, a white wool sword. Maybe not. Maybe like this, a sign. Oh, I actually did it. Wow, I actually didn't have to search it up this time. Here we go. Two banners. That's all you need. Now let's add the final touches to the alley. Bam and bam. There's our, there are the eyes and that looks way better because it protrudes out and like it waves a little bit. Let's come down, break off these stairs and the moment of truth. All three of the Minecraft live mobs are finally built in my hardcore world. Which one is your favorite, guys? Let me know how it looks as well. I got the copper golem right here. This is probably my least favorite just because there's no designs. We got the glare. This might be my favorite. There's a lot of detail and it's covered in leaves. That's pretty awesome. And the alley or the alley or the alley. However you want to say it, it looks amazing as well. And there we have it. I built all three of the brand new Minecraft live mobs into my hardcore world. We have the copper golem, the green glare, and the fan favorite, the alley. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And also let me know which one you guys voted for. If you guys want a tutorial for all three, let me know in the comments as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. This was super fun. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys do, you guys can see how big this entire Minecraft world will get in my hardcore series. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.